Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do some R&B chord style beat. I'm going to teach you how to do R&B chord progressions. Hi, I'm Venetian Venice. Welcome back to my channel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get started. Today tutorial is requested by one of my followers. He say, could you teach me more interesting piano chords progressions? Yes, certainly. And you also mentioned, can you make the key in E flat major, please? So today, the whole sections I'll be using in E flat major as requested by him. For those who do not know R&B chords progressions, it simply goes like this. And noted, I'm doing it in E flat major. So the chord progression is 4, 6, 5, 4 in E flat. As you can see, we start from the 4th chord of E flat majors, which is A flat. And for beginner, everything just shift 3 notes lower, you might want to do it in C major. Okay, let's get a little complicated. The next chord progression is 4, 5, 6, 5, 7, which is also the first invasions of the 5th, and followed by 1 and 4. And same thing, everything goes in E flat majors. Let me explain. The first chord, which is the 4th notes of E flat, which is the first chord, I bring down the 5th from the 4th chord and I do it exactly the same for the 5th and 6th chord always bring down a 5 from it let's recap now here comes the 5th 7 which is the first invasion of the 5th the right hand here is in the 5th chord of E flat major and here comes D, the third of the fifth chord, happening to be the seven notes of E flat. D, E flat. And when you put the seven at the left and the fifth chord at the right, it can be called a fifth seven, a fifth seven chord. And going to two more chords, the tonic of E flat, which in classical terms we call it second invasions. And lastly, this may sound dissonant. The dominant 7 of the 4th here, A flat, which is the 4th notes of E flat. Let's compare from the previous one. Turn it to the 4th chord. Turn it to the dominant major 7. Look, this is really the dominant 7 of A flat, which we have 4 notes A flat, C, E flat, and G. So you can compare, do you prefer going to the tonic triads of A flat or end it with dominant 7? Use your ear to determine, it's your own preference. And now, I'm going to show you an example from Summer Walker. Now hear me. This one trick she does to make the R&B flavor sound spicier. And I think that we can benefit from it by learning from it. For R&B, you might want to make every chord in the dominant 7, even though just now I already add in at the end, in the previous example. Because when you put in dominant 7, it really gives you a positive R&B vibe. And just when you hear it, you will know it is R&B. Okay, same thing as requested. I'm going to show you in E flat major. For those who wanted to try, in C major, just go three notes lower. And everything is in white key.
So guys, if you have any questions, be sure to comment down below and I'll be sure to read it. And if possible, I may make it into a tutorial. So feel free to subscribe, like and comment. And don't forget to share it around. So I'll be going off. Hopefully this will be helpful for you. Venetia Venice signing off. Thank you.